there, just enjoying an after holiday candy cane. Ugh, I have so many candy canes left over. I don't think I can eat them all. What should I do? <gasps> well, good thing I have weird science to the rescue. Check it out. With an adult's help, preheat your oven to 250 degrees. Next, line a cookie sheet with wax paper or parchment paper. Then, start to unwrap those candy canes. You can line them up on top of the parchment paper on your cookie sheet. Give a little space between so they don't stick together. And you'll see I did two different types of candy canes. Let's see how it works. With an adult's help, place the cookie sheet into the oven. Set your timer for five minutes. Oh, and it broke. Okay. And trying with the other one, it worked. Otherwise, you can place it back into the oven for another two minutes yeah. to melt. Ooh, <laughs> it bends. Wow. So what's nice about these are as soon as it starts to cool down, you can put it back in the oven. And look at that. I made a heart. So as I was saying, if, as it cools down, you can see that it'll start to harden. So you can put it back in the oven to kind of get it a little softened. These are some great examples of bending candy so, canes. So note to self, some things that we noted is we use two different types of candy canes. We know that this type of candy cane had like kind of a sugary coating to it and they were kind of more easily to break. So when we put them back in the oven for a little bit while longer, I was able to bend it. So it did require a little bit more warming time. Whereas this type of candy cane was only about five minutes in the oven at 250. So it's really about experimentation and finding where that melting point is. So you're technically changing the physical state of the solid candy cane. Thanks for joining me with Weird Science. As always, tag us at Manly's Library, hashtag Miss Windy on our Instagram page. Can't wait to see what you made.